the beginning of my 2015 storm chasing season had been a slow and frustrating start. After being on the road for nearly three weeks already, I had still not seen any tornadoes. Disagreements on forecasts and chase decisions, as well as some vehicle trouble, had resulted in a few missed storms and tornadoes. Upper level winds had been lacking most of the time I had been out, which had resulted in a lack of photogenic supercells thus far. I finally saw my first decently structured storms on May 22nd near Lyman, Colorado, and on the 24th near Lamar, Colorado. This wall is wall close, rotating. It's rotating really hard. This It's rotating pretty. Like there's a little bit of a gap and there's just part of the the, the wall cloud, that big RFD punch is trying to keep 100%. <laughs> That's a ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> the structure is unreal. I'm finally going to have the same picture as Cold Forney has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're standing right behind his camera. <laughs> <laughs> The night of June 3rd, we stayed in Greeley, Colorado after witnessing a maybe NATO north of Cheyenne, Wyoming, near the town of Lusk. Yeah, it's just not, it's just like stuck in front of it. It's just like know. just stuck. You can see underneath it. Yeah, it's not. I don't see any like circulation. The models were pointing at a potentially exciting day the next day in northwest Kansas. The Storm Prediction Center had issued an enhanced risk area for northern Kansas the morning of June 4th. My initial target area was near Colby, Kansas, and was hoping to get on the road early to make the drive to northwest Kansas. However, we got off to a late start in the morning, and by the time we were ready to chase, it was getting too late to make the long drive to Kansas before storm initiation. We found ourselves parked in the city park in Fort Morgan, trying to figure out a new plan. I was still pretty flustered about not being able to be on the road to Kansas, but knew that upslope storms in Colorado were still in play. After analyzing weather models, a new target area became apparent, and we headed for Lyman. On our way to Lyman from Fort Morgan, I kept an eye on the weather models and radar as storms began to fire a little after 1 p.m. Just before 2 p.m., the Storm Prediction Center issued a mesoscale discussion for much of northeast Colorado, stating that thunderstorms would be strengthening and that a tornado watch was probable. By 2.20 p.m., there was a tornado watch out for parts of northeast Colorado. There were two supercells exploding to the north and south of Lyman. After watching both storms for a while, it was apparent that the storm to the south would be the dominant storm, and the chase was on. We traveled south down I-70 to Lyman, as the first tornado of the day was forming to the west. Finally, after three weeks on the road, I had my first tornado of the season. We took Highway 24 southwest out of Lyman and headed towards the storm. We ended up on the side of the road about 10 miles from the tornado to take pictures, but getting closer to this monster was very achievable.
As we headed closer, the storm moved south across the highway into farmland south of the town of Simla. We're probably about 10 miles. That's a huge tornado. Eight miles maybe. It's already crossed the road. Wanting to get closer and into a better position, I guided us to a dirt road that went south out of the town of Matheson, about seven miles east of Simla. There's a road south out of Matheson here. The storm was slowly moving to the south and the road paralleled the storm perfectly. I got us into position slightly ahead of the tornado and from there we watched the storm produce eight tornadoes in all. It's two, four, it's four. That's for, for sure four. Large cone tornado inside this supercell. Oh my gosh. I guess it's on the rear flank down, so it sh should be like in the middle or on the uh, north side. To make this day even better, the storm produced one of the most photogenic updrafts I have ever seen. The Simla Tornado Day was by far one of my best chasing achievements and will always be one of my favorite days of chasing.